Virgin Region is a 2007 rom-com movie coordinated by David Leland and featuring Hayden Christensen, Misha Barton, Tim Roth, Rosalind Halstead and Kate Groombridge. 2. In light of Giovanni Boccaccia's Decameron, it has likewise been known under the functioning titles The Decameron, Holy Messengers and Virgins, Extravagances and Pursuing Temptation. 3. The film's Italian title Decameron Pi honors both the title of the first source motivation and to American parody film American Pi. The movie was delivered in France on December 12, 2007, under the title Archaic Pie, and was delivered straightforwardly to DVD in the US in August 2008. It was the last film created by Dino De Laurentiis. 4. The film is set in Florence, Republic of Florence, during the Dark Passing. As in the Decameron, ten youthful Florentines take shelter from the plague. In any case, rather than recounting stories, they have vigorous experiences, risque trades, sentiment and swordplay. There are Randy nuns, Saracen privateers, and a provocative cow. Pampinia is the girl of a rich trader who has passed on minutes before the beginning of the film. Lorenzo is a young fellow around who is especially great at betting and is enchanted by her excellence. Gerbino de Rata is the top of the neighborhood hooligans who burglarizes anybody or takes anything that he sees stealable. Count Dzerzhinsky, from the city of Novgorod in Novgorod Republic now in current Russia, is Pampine's life partner who she has never met. Their destiny entwines after Pampine's dad passed on and Gerbino denies Pampinia of her fortune, saying her dad was underwater. The main way for the traitor's girl to save her life was to wed him, as per Gerbino himself. Lorenzo was being pursued by Gerbino after he dominated him at a betting table, then, at that point, took shelter in a cloister by acting like a not too sharp nursery worker. At this religious community, he engages in sexual relations with the horny nuns, yet just until Pampine's all's appearance. Pampinia, attempting to escape from Gerbino's grip, rushed to the cloister for cover. There she observes Lorenzo, whom she'd long cared deeply about, having intercourse with the nuns and get desirous. She blindfolds Lorenzo and kisses him enthusiastically out of affection. However at that point, out of desire, she advises the community's abbess regarding his trickiness, that he is really neither hard of hearing nor stupid. The include shows up in Florence just to be trapped by Gerbino's men. His associates are all killed, however he gets by. Getting a message from Pampine's worker, Count Dzerzhinsky rides to Pampine's dad's chateau for the wedding, for he has been guaranteed her hand in marriage. On the way, the youthful Count meets a thin plunging Alyssa, Pampine's closest companion, who is headed to go to the wedding, and the two hence experience passionate feelings for. The Count is persuaded to think Alyssa is Pampinia. Driven out of the cloister, Lorenzo follows Pampinia to her dad's chateau. There he admits to her that he's fallen head over heels for the pious devotee who kissed him while blindfolded, the lady whose face he never got to see. Afterward, Gerbino and his men show up at the house and detain Lorenzo. Pampinia consents to wed Gerbino right that day to save Lorenzo, and in this way Lorenzo is expelled to the forest. There he meets Dzerzhinsky who is en route to the manor to be hitched to Pampinia, really Alyssa, and the two collaborate to take out Gerbino's men. Gerbino himself passes on falling into an enormous profound well inside the manor. Pampinia, in affection with Lorenzo, will not wed Count Dzerzhinsky, just to acknowledge minutes after the fact that the include himself is enamored with Alyssa who has been acting like her. She cheerfully then pursues Lorenzo and kisses him. Lorenzo understands that she is as a matter of fact the religious woman he's infatuated with and they hold their wedding that very day, with every one of their companions joining in.